CataractCoach.com. Cataract Quiz, what is going on here? Is this the capsular back equator, a capsule tear, or is it just cortex? Watch the case. I want to show you from the rexes, there's some important clues here. Watch carefully as you poke in, a little bit of wrinkling of the lens cap. Look at that. See, it's not so taut. So maybe there's a little bit mild degree of zonular laxity. I want to create a nice five and a half millimeter capsular rexus, so we'll continue that. That all looks pretty good. As I tear it, it looks like there's good support. But when I poked in with the forceps, you saw a little bit of radial wrinkling of the cap. That's kind of a hint there. There it is, five and a half millimeters, done. Now for the hydrodissection, I'm gonna to try to get this nucleus partially tilted out of the capsular bag. It's not too dense, not too much nuclear sclerosis here. Kind of moderate cataract. There it is, coming up out of the bag. Let's tilt that up a little bit, maybe even a little hydrodelineation there. And maybe another aliquot of viscoelastic to protect that central coil endothelium. And then this nucleus can now be easily chopped and emulsified. Again, this is not the challenging part. Now I want to show you these real cases from my own clinic, my own operating room, to show you the kind of the thought process that goes through my head here. So buzzing that nucleus, I'll chop it in half. Again, not really concerned about too much here. Mm, kind, kind of a chop, not the best, but try again. But buzzing with a phaco probe, maybe I can just do a, a Lindstrom style tilt and tumble instead. Nope, there's a the nucleus, so you can break it up in little pieces. Again, unfortunately, this is not a very dense nucleus, so we're able to get these pieces up. Look how I use that chopper to help kind of bring the pieces up. So even if the initial chop didn't propagate and give me uh, split pieces, I can still split them later with the chopper there. So there you go, getting out that endonucleus. Then there's a big epinuclear shell, which we'll take out. And the challenging part, or the part that I have a question about, the quiz, if you will, is when we come out with the phaco probe, we see something a little bit different. So again, rotating that epinuclear shell here and using this the vacuum to draw it out, out of the bag. Once we draw it out of the bag, let's get that chopper behind it. There we go, and we can just tilt this thing up. We need a little squirt of water on the corny, but at this point, my technician's already loading up the lens, doing a fantastic job, by the way. I'm lucky to have an A-plus team with whom I work. There's that last piece comes out. Okay, looks pretty good. Everything's good, right? And then I come out of the eye here. There's the last little tiny piece. Okay, I think it's pretty good. Come out. Whoa, whoa, what's Now I notice something. Wait a minute. The top of your screen there, patient's nasal aspect. What is that? That line there is what's bothering me. And I'm kind of not so sure. Maybe I shouldn't have pulled out of the eye. So I'll go with the IA probe again, and I'm like a little cautious about that one area. Oh, you know what? I think it's just cortex. Yeah. And now you can tell for sure because look how there's some lens epithelial cells on the undersurface of the anterior lens capsule, especially there superiorly. That tells me that, of course, that's where the capsule is. So a little advantage of having those cells there. Now we can go back and clean them up a little bit. What's that other strange line there on the cornea now? Is that something in the eye? You saw that line? It was kind of coming and going. Watch carefully again. Filling up the eye with our cohesive viscoelastic. That line, what's that? What's that there at the top of your screen? I think it's a mucus strand on the cornea. Let's go in here with the polisher. Polish up the undersurface of the anterior capsule rim. It looks pretty stable. Yeah, that looks like a mucus strand on the surface of the cornea. And so now we're able to put the lens in. We'll get that mucus strand off in a moment. And you can see everything looks normal. So yeah, this was just a, it was a false warning. I'm glad I'm always vigilant. I'm always keeping an eye out, forgive the pun, and making sure that everything is going beautifully. But you gotta always, you know, keep your guard up, always look carefully, make sure you notice any fine details there. We'll get the lens in the bag. You see the capsule bag's perfectly intact. It's, an, it's design support's good. There's that strand of mucus on the cornea. And you can see the rexus too overlaps very nicely on the optic for 360. I think we achieved that five and a half millimeter rexus that we were looking for. And now going in with the IA probe, take out the viscoelastic. elastic. And again, you can see capsular bag looks good. No excessive wrinkling of it. Good sign of support. Notice the rexus stays round. Remember, if it's a weakness in the rexus in one quadrant, it'll become kind of D-shaped, like the letter D instead of perfectly round. But no, here it looks perfectly round. Get that lens centered up, and I did a pretty reasonable rexus there. Obviously, don't worry about that bubble. That'll go away. But thanks for watching this cataract quiz. I, I do appreciate it. And just want to show you cases from my everyday situation here. And what gives me a second to pause and say, wait a minute. There you go. Beautiful case. I enjoyed performing it. And hey, the patient was even happier. Thanks for watching.